Welcome, welcome to another podcast. Today, I am very, very passionate to talk about this. Why is it that when we're called ugly, we just kind of lose motivation, especially when we're posting ourselves on the internet? Why is it that when we get someone saying, oh, you're ugly, why does that make us stop and think, oh, I'm not worthy to be posting myself on the internet. I really want to challenge you to think about this because beauty is very subjective. We might look at one person and think they're the most gorgeous person alive. Someone else might just think they're ugly. I don't know why. Maybe they really do think that or maybe they could say it out of pure jealousy. Who knows exactly why that person is referred to as ugly, right? But why is it that we feel Sorry about scratching my nose and everything. <laughs> Why is it that we feel that because we're quote unquote called ugly by other people, why does that diminish our, what's the word? Our ability to post ourselves online. Why is that? I know a lot of people are very hard on themselves and when they hear that, they'll probably just want to quit. And I really want to challenge you to think this way. For any person, especially you, if you wouldn't think that just because someone is unattractive, they shouldn't be out there, then there's no reason why you should have that on yourself. Let me give you an example. I, I'm definitely not the person to go out there and say, oh, you don't look attractive enough, therefore you shouldn't even put, put your videos online. I'm definitely not that person. <laughs> I enjoy watching all kinds of things and I am very am about what the person says. And to me, I feel like a lot of times a person's attractiveness often comes from what they have to say. So the more they say things that are really amazing, the more good looking they'll become to me. <laughs> That's just how I am. That doesn't mean I don't have this inner brain thingo that goes, oh, this one's, this, not this one, sorry. I'm often like, oh, she's really good looking, or oh, he's really good looking. And usually then, you know, certain traits will all contribute to that but I am also not thinking and and I feel like a lot of people don't think that maybe some people who are very very angry and um, just not in a good state would think that all unattractive people should just get off the internet I certainly don't think that I think everyone should have a say in whatever they want no matter what they look like they should be able to say what they want share their stories and everything so I definitely do not believe that I like for example I'm not gonna think oh just because someone said I'm ugly that I should get off and not post myself because I certainly don't think that of other people. For example, I'm not gonna say, oh, because this person's ugly, I'm just gonna think that they shouldn't be on the internet. Like, no, that's not how I think. Therefore, regardless of whether that person thinks I'm ugly or not, I am here to stay. And I really wanna encourage you to think the same because I know it sucks that someone say it and honestly if someone says it and it really destroys your com self-confidence I want you to think about like if you have a very firm belief that you're cool regardless of how you look and you have good and bad days I truly don't think that other people are gonna sway you that much because when people say oh you're ugly maybe it is one of the days that you feel horrendous and you just be like yes thank you for telling me the truth and other days you might just be feeling absolutely amazing and astonishing i've come to the point where i'm okay with having days when i feel really ugly like my nose hair could be three inch thick i have quadruple chins and i'm like looking so fat and i'm just like oh and i don't even want to look in the mirror and then there are other days where I don't know, where there's just something about my face that I'm like, oh, I look so amazing. Ooh. So I think it is just completely okay to have these good or bad days where you are completely fine with looking horrendous or fine with looking so hot that you can't even handle it yourself. I know it sounds so conceited when you say that about yourself, but honestly, I don't really think it even matters like you're not going out there going and look at how good looking I am everyone stop what you're doing look at me so <laughs> honestly I think it's fine and on, if anything it'll just 
give other people that confidence, you know, to, to see that it's okay to have good and bad days. It's okay to not be 100% feeling attractive all the time. It's okay. And if other people say that, you can just say, you know what? There are days. Yeah, I feel ugly. <laughs> is there anything wrong with that? Yeah, because certainly I know that um, there's nothing wrong with just having those days. And also, it's there's nothing wrong with being ugly to some people. Only because... I feel like we have so different, such different visions of what is beauty. I mean, I just I'll always remember this. I, w I was watching a show the other year, like many years ago, and there was this girl in there that I thought was just the most beautiful face. <laughs> like seriously, to me, she had the most beautiful looking face. And then this dude that was like next to me, like watching it as well, he was like, She's not even that attractive. She's ugly. And I'm like, what? What? Are we even looking at the same person here? What is going on? So I feel like we just have to not put so much emphasis on looks and just put more emphasis on what we have to say. Because honestly, I do believe what we have to say is a lot more important because the people that have impacted me the most, as I always will say this again and again, are the people who have said things that really, really spoke to me, who's helped me in some ways. They're the people I remember the most. And I know that it's not about their looks because honestly, the people who have said really, really nice things to me and made me feel really amazing, guess what? They look amazing. I mean, I could look at anything about them and think, this person is gold. This person just looks so amazing because of what they said, what they've said, how it helped me, how it resonated with me. That will often, often contribute with how I feel that they look. So I would just, encourage you to not give up on something because you heard someone say you're ugly. I am all about sharing imperfections in life these days because I realized just how much I was affected by watching things of people who were doing things perfect in every way. It just made me kind of feel like I was not good enough and I couldn't do what I wanted to do because I didn't feel that I was good enough because I didn't have the perfect whatever. And that's been my struggle my whole life and I want to free you from that struggle because honestly life should, should be all about getting to a certain point and not about reaching the destination that is perfect because so many times, how many times have we put off wanting to create something like a video because the walls to our freaking house look ugly. <laughs> I'm kind of speaking from my personal experience. I know I've had moments and I always go back to this freaking kitchen because that's just my experience. I've always wanted to do cooking videos but I didn't because my kitchen looked ugly. Yeah that put me off cooking for many years until one day I'm just like I don't even care anymore. I would love to one day have that pretty kitchen but I can't exactly you know wish myself getting there and it's not really helpful if I just watch countless other videos of people in their perfect kitchens honestly it just makes me feel like like I'll never attain the goal so rather I'm just going to do it anyway in that ugly ass kitchen and I'm gonna talk about how it's so good to start in an imperfect spot to progress into what you want and share the journey of that I'm all about the journey yes and that is like I know I'm just going off topic because the kitchen just really always been a thing for me and uh, it's kind of the same is with your looks honestly if you think you're not good enough look good enough just remember that what you have to say is what really really is the thing that resonates with people and you just have to look at yourself and ex as an example you just have to think back to the people who you really admire and love and you feel such connection to is it really because they were the perfect looking per person or is it because they said something that really really helped you in some ways that is the thing that i want you to keep thinking about every single time you feel like you're a failure because you don't look good enough therefore you shouldn't be creating stuff or doing things that you really want to you feel like you're just not 
good looking enough. I want you to remember the people in your life that has meant the most to you and how you could be that person for someone else by sharing your story, sharing the imperfections in your story. I just think that is so important because there is nothing better to watch someone who's you can resonate with that's struggling with the same thing. I feel like that is just such a powerful thing. And I, I, I honestly wish I would have been able to talk to my 15 year old self. I would have like, I would have like grabbed her by the neck collar and go, oh, you sit down and listen to me and like actually just listen to me rather than just not listen to me. I would say something so drastic like what are you doing with your life you're wasting it all just because you don't think you're look good enough what is this bullshit like seriously it doesn't even matter for anything looking imperfect is just gonna motivate others in a good way at least that's how I feel I feel these days showing something that's imperfect actually I feel like would maybe motivate people more than showing something that's perfect for example if I showed the perfect looking big house I feel like that's just gonna make people feel like okay I may as well live vicariously through you since I can't attain that ever so you know what I don't mind sharing a little house <laughs> I don't mind sharing an ugly ass kitchen because I know one day I would love to I'm a very artistic person so to me I love things to look nice and I know the back of me looks appears nice there's like mess everywhere and there's clothes spoon about I just put them all in a corner so that you wouldn't see it in the camera because I want things to look nice see you're getting a vision of behind me that looks really nice right but it's really not because we put all our laundry everywhere on the couch because there's nowhere like we just sometimes hang it out on the couch to dry sometimes and you know they're all over and it's looking quite terrible and I had to spend quite a few minutes to get all of them into one corner so they don't make the video look horrible but that just goes to show what is behind the scenes you gotta remember to treat yourself the way you treat others and so I mean that in a way that sometimes you treat yourself in such a horrible way that you would never think of treating other people that way like if you're not you're not the type to go out there and say oh you ugly ass bitch get off I can't even do that I just can't even like I can't even do that um, then then don't do that to yourself please just realize that it's okay I'm just so excited to share this mindset and hopefully motivate some of you to just put aside that fear of your looks and to do what you really want to do. And that could be something like, you know, film your own videos. I always wanted to do that and I always looked at other people feeling just really jealous that I wasn't. And honestly, I was doing that to myself because there's no rule saying that I'm not allowed to, you know, I did it to myself. I completely did it to myself because I thought I wasn't good enough. And what, for whom to decide? Nobody but myself. And because of that, I wasted years, years. I always go back to that regret that I, I wasted years and I want to prevent you or like people who are like me 15 years ago, 20 years ago to don't repeat the same mistake I did. I mean, one day you're gonna just get to a stage, you're getting older, like time's just flying, the days are fa getting faster and faster, you, you don't want to look back and think, oh god, I wasted five years because I was afraid. For what? So yeah, I, that's what I really want to encourage you to think about. <laughs> I just really feel so passionate about this. I feel so passionate that I want all of you who may be in my shoes, who used to think you look terrible most days, to actually just not give a damn about how you look and just give a damn about what you have to say because that to me is what really, really matters to a lot of people. You, you would be surprised that a lot of times I'll watch someone because of what they say. Honestly, it's not because of what they look. I mean, I rarely ever just watch a video just for someone's looks. I don't know another person who does do that. Maybe like maybe some people just want to look at every single person and judge like put them a score one to eight one to ten something like that I'm certainly not browsing on my freaking YouTube page to do that so I'm interested in what people 
experiences are, if they relate to me. I just want to feel like I can relate to someone. Let me tell you, if a person says you're ugly, you gotta really think about what is their intention? Like what? Why are they even saying that? Are they saying that because maybe they feel ugly as well and they don't want you to be out there because they want to take your place maybe? I don't know. Maybe the intention is just to, I don't know, to silence you because they wanted to do what you do. That could be one of the intentions and if that's the case and you listen to that then they won, haven't they? I'm just so passionate about getting people over this I'm ugly therefore I can't do anything kind of mindset because it's just such a it holds back so many things and I'll tell you all the stuff I missed by worrying about that how about that hey I could have had maybe 10 or 15 years of sharing my stories sharing things that have really have happened to me have helped me have uh, I don't know anything that could have really done things but instead I let my fear get in the way and I didn't say anything and oh dear I wasted time that's something you can never get back so that's why I just really do encourage you to look past the your ugly kind of things that people say and think about what you can offer you know what if one person in the world does that person might be silently watching your stuff and like absolutely seeing you as their lifesaver who knows so just go out there and do that for someone that is my thing that I want to share for today and I hope that it will encourage you to do something that you really wanted to if you're holding back on it because you feel like you're not good looking enough <laughs> <laughs>